If you've clicked on this video, chances are you want to build a mobile app of your very own, which is a daunting challenge, but trust me, it is so worth it because mobile apps, in my opinion, are the best business model to build because once you finally build your mobile app and you push it to the app store or the Android store, it is there for life. It will drive you recurring revenue, organic downloads. This is a business model that can give you financial freedom. And I can say that because I've done it myself. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I build mobile apps from scratch without coding a single line of code. That's right. I don't code my own mobile apps. I outsource everything. So regardless of your skill level, regardless if you can code or you can't code, I will show you exactly how to bring your mobile app idea to life in this video. And I'm going to do it in real time. I have a new idea for a mobile app that I will be building with you. I will do it as fast as possible. No fluff, no BS. I have absolutely nothing to sell you. I am simply going to show you exactly how I build successful mobile apps in real time. If you stick around and watch this entire video, I guarantee that by the end of the video, you will have all of the knowledge and skills that you need to bring your mobile app idea to life and drive revenue numbers like mine. And very last thing I'll say before we jump into things, thank you so much to everyone who has been subscribing lately. We're at 943 subscribers. I really appreciate all the support on the channel. It means the absolute world to me and it keeps me motivated to keep creating videos. So thank you so much to everyone who has subbed. Let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you exactly how to build a mobile app, but first I am going to show you how much revenue that I have made over my lifetime building mobile apps. It's right here. Hopefully this will allow you to trust me and kind of <laughs> believe that I might know what I'm talking about. Here are my lifetime sales while being a developer on the App Store. My mobile apps have done $683,000 in sales. And even in the last 30 days, we have done $30,000 in sales. So my mobile apps today are making me around $1,000 a day. Last 30 days, $20,000 in sales. Furthermore, I've been featured on ABC, Washington Post for donating to a charity and even the Rolling Stone for some of the mobile apps that I have built. This is real recurring revenue. And I'll tell you right now, <laughs> I put very little work in day to day to get these numbers. I work less than two hours a day, less than an hour a day, sometimes no time at all when I'm working on this business, right? It is truly a recurring business, a micro SaaS, if you will. It will earn you recurring revenue that will give you true time freedom and financial freedom. Okay, so let's dive into it. How to build a mobile app. This video is going to be broken down into four separate parts. Those being idea slash research, design, development, marketing, and optimization. And this is really all you need, right? There's four simple steps to making a mobile app. And I'm going to go through each one of them and break it down as simply as possible. And I want to stress again, if you don't know how to code, if you don't know how to design, if you don't know how to market, if you literally don't know what app you want to build yet, it doesn't matter. I'm going to show you how to do each and every single one of these things. And again, by the end of the video, you will have everything you need to know. So let's move into phase one. Phase one is your idea slash your research of the idea, validating, making sure that your idea is actually a good idea. And the way I start with building mobile apps is I like to solve a problem for people. In solving a problem for someone, they're gonna see your app as valuable to them. They're gonna wanna invest money. And it's also easy to market a problem. You can market a problem and say, hey, you have this XYZ problem. Here's an app, here's a product that will help you fix it. Your product needs to solve a problem, right? And then how do you validate your app idea to know that this is a problem that people actually have, that there's a market for this and that there's a little bit of competition, right? Competition is good in the in, you know mobile apps, right? Because you want to know that other people are making money in the industry or in the sort of niche that you are building your mobile app in. So with this, you can do market research. And the best way to do market research is you can go to a website called Sensor Tower and you can see exactly how much other apps are making. So for example, I have an idea, this app that I'm gonna show you that I'm building in real time with you on this video. This app that I'm building is a macro tracker. I've had this problem. I've been tracking my macros manually for the longest time because I think all the apps out there just aren't good, right? Like here is literally my macro sheet. I've been tracking my macros manually uh, over this period of time. I've been tracking my weight, etc. right? Because I think all the apps out there kind of suck at it. So I'm going to build a better version of this app. And how did I know that this would be a good idea? How did I validate this idea? I went to Sensor Tower and I checked out the revenue of all the apps within kind of this health and wellness track your calories niche. We have MyFitnessPal, which is doing $10 million in revenue every single month. We have Yazio, which is doing $3 million in revenue every single month. We have FitNow, which is doing $4 million in revenue every month. And Calorie Counter Plus, $900,000 every single month. Clearly, there is a market for this. And I think these products 
quite frankly, I, I don't think they're good. I think I can build a better product and I can market it better. There is clearly a market for this. My idea has been validated. You can go and you can look on the top, you know, uh, revenue charts. So you can look at the top app store charts and see kind of what apps are trending right now. But ultimately you want to solve a problem, right? And then you're going to brain dump everything. This is kind of my strategy for initially getting my idea down on paper and kind of thinking about exactly what I want to do. So this is exactly what I did. I brain dumped everything, right? We have macro tracker up here. This is, you know, the idea that I have for the app. I have the competitors that I just mentioned right here. I have ideas for the features that I want to, I want to use, right? So this whole uh, app is going to be focused around AI macro tracking. You can talk to your phone and tell it what you ate and it'll track your macros. But I have all the features that I want on the app right here. I have all the pages, all the ideas that I have for the app. I've brain dumped everything here. I've brain dumped all of my ideas. I've explained kind of what each page is going to do. And this will set you up perfectly because you're going to have a singular place where you have all of your ideas on paper. And this will help you really kind of wrap your mind around your app idea, brain dumping everything. And then at this point, we can get into the design of your app. And make sure you stick around to the end because I'm gonna show you at the end how to market this and how to make that sweet, sweet profit. I'm gonna show you exactly how, you know, I'm making $1,000 a day uh, with my mobile app and we're gonna do it together in real time. So stick around for sure. Kind of the last couple things I'll say about this is solving a problem more likely than not, it's a problem that you experience, right? So, you know, when I built my first app, my first app that is making $30,000 a month as of right now, Puff Count, it was an app that helps people quit vaping. I got addicted to vaping in college. So this is a problem that I had and I knew a lot of other people had it and I knew it was going to be a big problem. So I knew there was a market. I knew that the idea was validated because other people were going to have this problem. I knew it would be super marketable. And I knew people would pay for this because, you know, it's, it's a real problem out there. You know, I had all these boxes ticked, right? I was solving a problem. The idea was validated. I did a bunch of market research. I knew that this was a viral problem because vaping was also going viral on social media, which is kind of another way that you can validate your idea. What's trending on social media right now? Is it vaping? Is it, you know, sobriety? What is it? Right. And then you can kind of build your app idea around that. And then once you have everything kind of brain dumped on paper, you're confident in your idea, you're confident that your idea solves a problem, you're confident that this is a valuable idea to people, and you've brain dumped everything, you have, you know, all the pages that you want, kind of all the features, and you know how it's going to look, you can start to design the app in your mind, you can develop the app in your mind. How exactly do you imagine that this app is going to work, you know, once it's brought to life, once it's brought to life on your phone, right? In doing this, you can build out a wireframe. You can sketch out a wireframe. And I'll kind of show you the wireframe now that I have built for my new app, the macro tracking app. And it's literally simply a sketch of exactly how I think the app should look, <laughs> right? So I'm drawing out exactly how I think the app should look and kind of the main screens within the app. And this is all you need to get started developing the UI. And once you have this sketch done, what you can do is you can upload it to a site called 99designs. I highly recommend this site when you are building the UI for your mobile app because again, you can take your entire sheet that you've brain dumped here and you can upload it to 99designs. And what 99designs is, is it's a contest platform. So you can upload your sketch of your app and you can start a contest and you will get hundreds of designers all submitting their idea of what your app should look like. For example, I have 86 different designers who have all submitted their designs. And this is the best way to go about UI design because you get so many different options of, you know, what your app would look like that it's easier for you to choose. For example, like if you had only seen one girl your entire life, you, you, you know, you might be like, okay, you know, I like her, I'm going to marry her, but that's the only girl you've ever seen. Imagine if you had 10 girls in front of you and then also that girl is there, you might be like, oh wait, she was cute, but like this one's cute. You know what I mean? Like that type of thing. So you don't know kind of what design you want to go with unless you've seen a ton. So this is why I recommend doing 99 designs, doing a contest instead of just working with one designer. I think it's more effective and I'm going to show you in a second here, the design that I'm going with and the design that I think is the absolute best out of this. But to give you a better understanding, I'll, I'll kind of walk through the brief here. It's essentially everything that we did on our brain dump word doc here. We're going to do the exact same thing on 99 design. So you can upload your own brief. You can kind of name your app, describe it a little bit. You can break down, you know, the screens and the workflows of your app. 
And then what you can do is you can upload your sketches. So the sketches that I just showed you, I uploaded to 99designs and I said, hey designers, here are my sketches. This is what I want the app to look like. And then boom, they bring the sketches and they bring your brain dump to life in the form of a beautiful, beautiful UI. And I will show you the winner here. This is the winner by far to me, right? Super clean, you know, the designer left a comment here. It's super simple, it's playful, uh, and it looks gamified, kind of like Duolingo. I love this design. Without, you know, this contest, there's no way I would have gotten this design. And, you know, we could check out another one real quick here. This one doesn't even come close, right? Like this doesn't even come close or compare to this one. So getting a ton of designs like this will help you understand what you want faster and it'll help you get to your most optimal design faster. This contest I am currently running, there's about 18 hours left. So I will be choosing the winner, which is this guy right here. And then he will send me either a Photoshop file or a Figma file that I will then be able to take to the developer and bring this UI, bring this design, bring this image to life and make it a real functioning mobile app on my phone. I'm telling you guys, it is so easy. Stick with me throughout this because... <laughs> This is how I've built mobile apps time and time again. This is how I make money with mobile apps. And it really is simpler than people think. So in the next step, we're going to work on the actual development. So stick around until the end. Real quick, I have to tell you how insane doing this contest system with 99 designs is. You could have one designer and pay them the same price that I'm paying right now for a contest. Or you could start a contest for a couple hundred bucks and you get designs from 60, 70, 80 different designers. This is a no brainer. I'm telling you, you will, after you use this website and use this contest software, you will never get a design built another way again. Like this is the way to go. I highly recommend 99 designs. All right, guys, it's been a little while and we have kind of our final designs right here. As you can see, I got rid of a bunch of the other designs. I declined them all and I picked kind of the best five here. And stick with me. I know this is taking a little bit, but the UI and the design of your app is one of the most important parts of your app. It's going to help your marketing. It's going to help your, help your user experience. It will make you more money if your app looks good. So please stick with me throughout the rest of this. And then after this, we're going to get to the fun part. We're going to get to the marketing, the profit, the development all that. So I picked these kind of five just so I could like learn from the other designs what I like a bunch. And the beautiful thing about this is like this design right here is clearly the winner for me, but there are specific things that I like about these other designs that I can learn from, right? Like for this one, I kind of like this layout of the main monitor right here more than I like this, right? And for this one, I like the way that you know, the voice recording thing is just a pop-up and I like how they have, you know, the name right here up top. So all of these small little things I'm going to take note of, and then I'm going to tell this designer to implement those changes. So without further ado, let's confirm him as a finalist. Boom. Let's go. He is now in the final round and there's five days for this designer. I will talk with him. We'll go back and forth and then we'll finalize the design and then he'll send me the finalized design files on Photoshop or Figma. And then I can take these, bring them to the, the development team and then have them actually bring the app to life so we can get it launched on the store. So stay tuned for that. Be sure to watch till the end. We're almost done here. Stick with me. Okay, so thus far we've came up with our idea. We have validated our idea. We've brain dumped everything. We know everything that we want in this mobile app. We have our UI designs done. Now we just need to find someone to help us bring this to life. And by that, I mean a developer. And the way we're going to find our developer is on upwork.com. I highly recommend Upwork. It's way better than Fiverr in my opinion. And I'm going to show you why right now. Okay, so this is Upwork.com. It is essentially a freelancer platform where you can find people to do work for you. And I am going to show you how often I use Upwork and why I trust it so much. As you can see, I've had this Upwork account for quite some time now. I've posted 103 jobs, 100% higher rate. I've spent $19,000 on this website, right? So I've used Upwork a bunch. I've used all the, the freelancer platforms. I used Fiverr, I've used agencies, I've used all this stuff. Upwork is by far the best. So how are we going to find a developer on Upwork? What we're gonna do is we're gonna post a job. I'm gonna walk through this with you right now. This is gonna be a short-term project and this is going to be build a mobile app developer needed to build AI macro tracking mobile app for iOS, Android. 
sequence. So this is our job title, right? Developer needed to build AI macro tracking mobile app for iOS slash Android. Next, we're going to go to skills, iOS, uh, mobile app development, Android app development, uh, React, native is the coding language. And the rest of this really doesn't matter, right? Next to our scope, we're going to do medium. This is a medium term thing. It's going to take us one to three months, probably a little bit less, honestly, depending on the complexity of your app, right? And we're always looking for an expert. We're never looking for an entry level person. That's just, that doesn't exist in what we're doing right here. So we're looking for an expert, right? Could this become full-time? Sure. Why not? Let's say that location, we're going to make it worldwide. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to break this down a little bit further, but there's really only one part of the world you should be hiring developers from. And there's really only one part of the world that I recommend you hire developers from. And it's not the United States. It's not South America. It's not Asia. It is Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe is where you are going to find the best developers out there. They do great work, high quality work. They're driven, uh, very smart. And you know, they'll, they'll do it for like 50% of the cost of, of us, uh, developers. So just trust me on that. <laughs> I've been around the block enough to know, um, that you should be hiring from, from Eastern Europe. Right. So as for a budget, this isn't really going to matter either for the post that you do. I could say $20,000 right here. And then I could talk to people and try to, you know, negotiate or whatever, but let's say, you know, we're going to keep our budget for this at $3,500. So this is what we're going to build the app for. And then in the description, right, we are going to explain what the app is right now. We can pull up kind of our brain dump, right? This is super useful for us. And we are going to explain what exactly our app does. We're going to describe exactly what we need. The profile page, blah, 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 the macro app, right? We're going to explain a little bit more. This app is intended for users trying to track their macro nutrients slash calories and weight loss. The app utilizes AI to make the user experience seamless. Boom five main pages, blah, blah, blah. And then we're also going to mention we have the UI has been designed completely more details to come upon application. We don't, we don't really need to explain all this. So we're just going to make it short and sweet. This app is intended for users, blah, 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 track macronutrient calories, blah, blah, blah. And then boom, we are going to review the job post and we are are going to post the job. So one thing that you're going to want to do is set job success as 90% or up. We want someone who's experienced. So we want their amount earned to not be zero. If someone applies to your job and we're going to, we're going to go through the applicants on this later, but like if someone applies to your job and they don't have at least a hundred dollars of earnings on Upwork, you, you just don't want to, you don't want to work with that person. Okay. Perfect. Ba, ba, ba. Amazing. All right. So we're going to post our job now. And our job post is live. So I'll be back when we have a couple applicants and I'll kind of walk through exactly how we're going to be managing those applicants. I wanted to quickly mention, if you feel a little bit lost right now, uh, don't worry by the end of this video, it will all make sense and we'll all come together. And if you have any questions at any time throughout kind of this video, or what I'm talking about, please shoot me a follow on Instagram, shoot me a DM on Instagram. That is where I'm the most active by far. I will always get back to you on Instagram. I even take calls with viewers. So if you want to talk, if you want to take a call, if you want to, you know, jam a little bit on your app idea, hit me up on the gram and I'll get back to you. So let's get back into this. Okay. So it has not even been half an hour and we already have nine new developers who have all applied for our job. So I'm going to go through these real quick and just kind of show you typically what I would do. Here's our top guy right here. Like I can already tell right off the bat because you know, he has 5k earned hundred percent job success. He's top rated. And guess where he's located? Eastern Europe, baby. That is the sweet spot. That is the golden spot where we want to hire from. Just trust me on that. You know, these other guys, they look somewhat impressive. You know, we got a guy from Bahrain. Right off the rip, though, I'm not hiring this guy. He has zero earned on Upwork. So, you know, I'm, sh I'm not. He's not it. US, 50K earned. But the problem is he's associated with an agency. This can be a good or a bad thing. But typically working with an agency isn't the way you want to go unless you have a higher budget, right? Like if you have an unlimited budget and you have twenty, fifty thousand dollars to spend, like by all means work with an agency, get an account manager and work with developers that way. But 
I wouldn't recommend it. This guy has zero dollars earned, so he's out. I hate to say this, but like Eastern Europe is where you want to hire from. So like, this is our guy. Again, it's only been 30 minutes. So if I gave this a little bit more time, I would definitely get a ton more developers in here, probably from Eastern Europe that I would want to hire. So what I would do is I would send this guy a message to say, hey, thanks so much for your interest. Would love to hop on a quick 15 minute call to discuss details and then i'm going to send him my calendly link if you don't have calendly i highly recommend it it's completely free and boom i am going to schedule a call with this developer it's going to be a 15 minute call just so i can feel him out a little bit right like i want to tell him my idea i want to hear his thoughts on it i want to hear his excitement level and see if he's a professional guy face to face because a lot of the times these upwork people can hide behind I, like i hate to say it like they, they hide behind fake profiles, right? And like a lot of the times what you see on Upwork is not what you really get. So I know this guy's gonna be good. I'm shooting him this message. I'm gonna say, hey, let's hop on a quick call together. I'm gonna tell him about my app, get his you know kind of vibe, and then see if I wanna work with this guy. And more likely than not, this guy's gonna be really solid. You know, you can take a look into their profile. You can see some of their previous projects, et cetera, et cetera. This guy has great reviews, boom, 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 all five stars. You can scroll through. So like, this is probably the guy we're gonna go with. Hop on a call, hire a developer, and then you're off to the races. All right, so let's quickly recap what we've done here. We've come up with an idea. We have validated that idea. We've brain dumped everything. We've gotten our UI designed, and now we're hiring a developer. Congratulations, you are now a founder. You are now an app owner. This is the exact flow that I follow every single time I build a mobile app. I'm gonna work with this developer that I just showed you. I'm gonna hire him. You know, we're gonna work on the app together and then we're gonna get it launched into the app store. The beautiful thing is the developer will handle everything. Once you hire him, never hire on an hourly basis, always hire at a fixed price. So when he finishes the entire project and the app is on the app store, there's no bugs, et cetera, et cetera. I've tested it. Only then does the developer get paid. And I'll remind you, our budget for this project wasn't that insane. You know, like our project on 99designs was, you know, 800, 900 bucks. And then this developer has just applied for the job for 3,500. You could probably do even a little bit lower if you want to wait a little bit and get a little bit less applicants in there. For less than five grand, we have pretty much the entire makings of a full mobile app ready to go. Again, you know, I'll work with this developer and I will get the app finished and uploaded to the app store. I will put that in the next video. So be sure to subscribe, stay tuned. And in the next part, we're going to have a ton of fun marketing this app once it's fully live on the app store i'm going to show you exactly how i set up the paywalls and how i optimize it for the most profit possible so i hope you enjoyed if you got any value out of this video i would appreciate a like i would appreciate a sub and be sure to leave me questions in the comments hit me up on instagram i'm more than happy to chat with you guys out like let's take a call together like let's chat about your idea i love talking with you guys i really appreciate all the support and thank you so much stay tuned for the next one peace